What is up bros and hoes, this is Androx here and today I'm going to be giving you a complete in-depth guide into crests. I'm going to be talking about absolutely everything you need to know about crests and what you shouldn't be doing, what you should be doing and just general tips and tricks and stuff like that. So first of all, you're going to be asking me what is a crest. Well, a crest will give you the opportunity to get a secondary talent. This was introduced into the game a few months ago, so if you're new to the game, it's not been here all that long, but it's completely revolutionised the way we play the game. Um, you can get a crest for absolutely any talent within this game besides Enlightened. Now, I figure out that um, maybe the developers don't want you to level up your hero too quickly while they maybe introduce the 10 star to the game. I, I don't know. I don't know why they haven't included it. I'm just completely guessing there. Anyway, like I said, you can get a talent for any uh, a crest for any talent within this game besides Enlighten. And you can get these crests. The, the, the type of crest you can get is entirely dependent on the crest bag. You can get a normal crest bag, a rare crest bag, and a mythical crest bag. You can also get individual crest bags from the merchant, um, which you can buy for gold. I'm going to be talking about that in a little bit. But first of all, what you can get from the normal crest bag is blade shell, flame guard, Scorch, Slowdown, Sprint, Stone Skin, and Tenacity. For the rare crest bag, you can get Bulwark, Deadly Strike, Heavy Blow, Scatter, Self Destruct, and War God. And finally, from the mythical crest bag, you can get Berserk, Life Drain, Revitalize, and Revive. So you're kind of seeing a pattern here that the more desirable talents are um, in the crest bags which are hardest to get. This is the, this is the way they balance the game, so you can't like get a really really good set of crests like off the bat and the whole thing becomes pointless um <clears throat> now in lane you have different levels of each talent this works exactly the same as what like a main talent would do except you have to level up the crests to level two three and four and five so to inlay these levels of crest you need you need to hit inscription level 21 to add any crest at all um to hit level to put level twos in uh, you have to be inscription level 41. Um, for level 3, it needs to be 51. For level 4, it needs to be 61. And level 5, it needs to be 71. Now, the level of your inscription is entirely dependent on what you've upgraded. Now, your hero has to be at least 4 stars before you can start inscripting it at all. Um, that only goes to level 20. When you get to 5 star, it goes up to level 40. Um, when it goes to 6 star, it gets to a maximum of level 60. When it gets to 7 star, it's level 80, and when your hero hits, um, I think, 8 star, then you'll be able to hit the maximum of level 100. That that takes a lot of blue crystals to upgrade to, so I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you've got a big amount of bank balance when it comes to those blue crystals. Now, to upgrade these crests, you use red crystals um, to upgrade them for level 1 to 2, it takes 400. Um, from, from an individual crest from what, uh, from 2 to 3 takes 1,200. So you definitely want to be saving these red crystals up because they will come in useful. Now, what you'll notice here is the crests provide a different di type of attack value as well as health value. For example, a level 1 set of blade shell will give you 154 additional attack and 3,000 additional health. You compare this with flame guard, uh, that provides you with 70 additional attack and 4,100 additional health. So, Flame Guard provides less attack but more health. And there's a lot of crests that do this. So, you can put the crests on heroes. Um, you can sort of tailor these to the heroes which need it m most. For example, a hero that needs more attack, you could put some in. You could put a talent on there which provides more attack. If a hero needs more health, you could put. A, a talent on there which gives it more health instead of attack so you like to see you can tailor these crests um to what uh, the hero actually needs now when you upgrade these crests from level one to level two they provide even more additional attack and health so a level <clears throat> so a level two blade shell um sets will give you 279 additional attack and 5100 additional health so it's even more than, um, than what it had before. 
So it's definitely worth leveling these crests up, and this works across the board. Um, now the rarer crests actually provide more health and more attack than the normal ones. So we have we have revive here, for example. A level one revive gives you 114 attack and 6,400 health. Combine this with berserk, that gives you 382 attack and two um, and 2,800 additional health. So the rarer crests provide more attack and more health compared to the normal crests that you can get. Now let's go into game and I'm going to show you exactly what you should do. Um, <clears throat> now there's a lot of things that I notice people are simply not doing correctly and this is the one that bugs me out of all of them. Um, unfortunately, War God does not work on healers. That goes for um, Bulwark too. Uh, it does not make those healers heal for more, so it doesn't affect your druid, doesn't affect Orcsbane, doesn't affect Vlad, and doesn't affect Pixie. They will heal for the exact same amount. The only things that affect the, affect the amount they heal by is... Uh, oh, what is it now? The only things that affect their healing ability is the actual skill level, um, and I think it's the inscription as well, I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, it is inscription, because it adds a certain level of attack. Those are the only things that affect healing, guys. Um, number two, your talent and your inscription should not be the same. So I have a four or five revive on Santa Boom here. If I put a level two out of five inscripted revive on him, it won't work. It will take the main talent and just use that. So that secondary talent simply won't work. It will just take the main one. It'll add the inscripted health and the attack and everything, but the actual inscription itself won't work. So you want to avoid putting the same talent um, on a hero which has got a, a certain inscription, for example, and vice versa. Um, now, thirdly, if a hero's got a skill, um, talent, sorry, built in, then you want to avoid, again, putting that same talent on the hero. So, for example, a Siren has a 5 of 5 slowdown. Um, now, you want to be avoiding putting slowdown on her because she already has one built in. So, for example, you put a, a 3 out of 5 slowdown inscription on Siren, for example. It won't work. It will just take that main talent that's already built in. So, uh, again, you want to be avoiding putting the same inscription level um, com and talent, actually, compared to what it's actually already got built in. <clears throat> now, crest management. When you get a lot of these crests, you're going to fill up that warehouse pretty quickly. As you can see, I've got quite a few there. I've bought a, a lot of additional slots, so it doesn't really affect me all that much. But you're going to be filling up these slots fairly quickly. So to get rid of the, these crests, all you need to do is have a bunch of spare heroes, which you can just whack some crests on. If you really need to save space in the warehouse, you can just put some of these crests on um, like spare heroes just to take some space away, and then you can put them back into the warehouse if you've got a lot of space left. That's just something pretty cool that to do. So for the actual crests themselves, to level these up, um, what you need to do... Um, not combine, yes, yeah, it is combine actually. Uh, so if I go back here, go on crests. Um, now you see a combine feature. Now, as you can see, I've got f three versions of this level f uh, of this number four revive crest. I will need a fourth one of these in order to level this up to level two. And this works across the board. You need four, uh, four numbers of level two to make level three, you need four level threes to make a number four and so on and so on and all this provides your hero with more attack and more health as you upgrade them now for this talent the inscriptions itself you can actually set these uh, inscriptions so that it helps the hero out even more so for example um pumpkin juke right has a fairly low amount of health but a really good amount of attack it's probably one of the best damage per second heroes in the game um so it doesn't really need an attack boost, but it needs a health boost. So what we can do, we can choose a set of inscripted crests which provide more health rather than more attack. 